So for me, the first key to building and growing and sustaining an, uh, an online business or business in general is your health must be first every single day. My business no more comes first before my health does. What I'm saying is energy and the fitness allows me energy to deliver results in my business, in my relationships, in all aspects of having a clear vision, having a clear why, having passion, all the things you guys were talking about without energy without fitness without nutrition without emotional health mental health a lot of this stuff is really hard to execute on a high level and sustain for many years we may be able to do something for a few years but if we are not focusing on health first i believe at some point something is going to crash so for me the first key is health it's fully integrating a lifestyle that serves you and serves humanity. And we can't do that if we're not taking care of our health first. There's just no way we can do that if our emotional health, if we're constantly stressed, anxious, fearful, resentment, angry, not forgiving, all those things hold us back energetically from living our dreams fully and having the passion and the energy to make a massive impact. The next key is uh, Dan Martell, who's a brilliant at this, said it, said it well. Uh, it's brand. Brand. What I mean by that is uniqueness. How unique and different is your brand than everyone else's? So for me, I've always tried to be different than everyone else in my quote unquote industry, space, whatever. People doing the similar things. And I realized that I was never going to be smarter than anyone in my industry. But what I could do is invest in myself and be unique and different in my approach to my brand. So I started investing heavily in design, heavily into video quality, heavy, heavily into audio quality. I started doing things that other people weren't doing. Before everyone in this auditorium had a podcast, I, I did it before everyone did it. Before people started doing video podcasts, I said, I'm gonna invest in this money and do this before people were really investing a lot in their their personal branding to, uh, site, I was like, I'm gonna put 40 grand into a design. And a lot of times it's a big risk, but for whatever reason, it always seems to, to pay out. And I remember saying, I'm going to build relationships for years with the press. I'm gonna build relationships. I'm gonna go to every event. I'm gonna spend money. I'm gonna show up to conferences like this. I'm gonna build relationships and know all of the most influential people in my industry and all the most influential people in the press and having quality design matters getting mainstream press i hate to say it doesn't really get much results in terms of business but it matters in terms of building your uniqueness and your brand the next key the next key so focusing on photography though for me it's key continually update your photography invest in getting quality photography buy a camera if you need to use Everyone's got a nice camera now. Have a friend do a trade with you or something like that. Update your images as often as possible on your site, on your social media. For me, that simple thing can be the difference maker. You don't have to spend thousands of dollars on a design for your site if you just continue to have updated quality images. I truly believe that's a difference maker. And it's been helpful for my brand in terms of the next key, which is audience growth. In order to make more money you need to be able to find more people to solve their problems or with the people you already have who are paying you need to continue to have them paying either way we want to be able to grow our audience and there are some people in this room who can make a million dollars a year with 10 clients you know 20 clients we don't necessarily have to have this massive audience but i think a lot of us in here are building businesses where we want to attract new customers we want to get more customers and clients and that starts with audience growth. And how do we do that? Well, there's a few ways we can do it. We can create free content that again is high quality branding, high quality design, unique, interesting. It can be from uh, audio, video, images, written. We can create this unique content that works for our style. Or we can just do media buying. Facebook ads, I'm spending at least 30 to $40,000 a month on Facebook ads the last two years because it works it works it's building my business 
and I'm sending people right to webinars from an ad to a free training where I add value to help them solve a problem. And if they want more, they can buy a program or product, come to an event, a book, whatever it may be. But audience growth is key. So I'm constantly focusing on how can I grow my audience through unique content, free content, paid content, any of those different areas. For me, it's about once I, I started building my business off of essentially one core product eventually that was a thousand dollar program and I was selling this thousand dollar program over and over again after I did this webinar with leaf moose in the next year and a half I generated a million dollars in the next year and a half it was crazy how fast things started to click once I had a catalyst and saw something I just said I'm gonna repeat this every single day I'm gonna be a bulldog and just do the same thing every single day and over time, people were like, I would love to buy this, but I can't afford $1,000. And so I started saying, okay, well, let me figure out something that could be a little different or a smaller price point or a different offering. And so I built a back end, a suite of products. And even today, I'm, I'm constantly creating new products based on what people's biggest needs are. I shift my business all the time based on what people say they need. I just listen to them. What's your biggest challenge? What's the thing that I could serve you with? How can I support you? And they're like, this is what I need, and I go create it. The next thing is, for me, an extremely important thing that no one can achieve great things on their own. It takes an amazing team to back you up, to back up your dream, your vision, your why. So for me, team has been everything. So for me, I'm constantly seeking the greatest coaches. You know, this is the athlete in me. I knew that I couldn't achieve my sports dream without great coaches. There's just no chance. It didn't matter how talented I was as an athlete, how hard I worked, all the reps. It didn't matter unless I had a great coach. And it showed based on results of those seasons when I had great coaches and when we didn't. So finding a great coach, I pay a lot of coaches. I pay a business coach, a health coach, trainer, nutritionist coach. I'm paying a relationship coach when I'm emotionally a mess in my relationships. Whatever it is where I need support, feedback, I find help. I find feedback. I find coaching. And I seek it out as opposed to just saying, well, I don't know what to do in my life right now. And I'm just going to sit around and let it um, take over. I'm like, no, let's figure this out. Let's get better. Let's improve.